Welcome. Uh, well, we appreciate you guys coming out and covering uh, women's basketball. Um, you know, we're at a, a tough stretch right now. Um, yeah, I definitely give credit to, to Kelly and her staff and um, the Tennessee program and love the fan base and uh, have so much respect for this program I always have. Um, but I'm proud of our kids. I thought we competed. Um, you know, we had some good possessions. We had some good runs. Um, there was just a stretch there in the third that I thought really hurt us. And, um, you know, we just couldn't get quite get over the hump. And in that first half, we, we left some points out there. I think we said we had seven uh, opportunities in the paint in that second quarter that we didn't convert on in the paint um, that we felt like were pretty good looks. And then obviously rebounding Tennessee is so strong and so big, and uh, they just do a great job pounding the glass. And obviously gave up a, a lot of second shot opportunities that came back to hurt us as well. I thought uh, when we got into a little bit of foul trouble and, and those rotations hurt us a little bit. But uh, proud of our kids. I know it's not showing up on the scoreboard right now, uh, and that's the hard thing, right? We're all in this to compete and, and to win and, and to win. Uh, at a high level, and so losing's hard, um, but I'm proud of our kids. I feel like uh, the resiliency that I'm seeing, the way they came back from Christmas break, we had a really good week of practice, and um, you know, I'm proud of what I'm seeing in that locker room, so there's been growth, and uh, we'll get there. It's not showing up on the scoreboard yet, but we'll get there. I believe in these girls. What? Robin, they had uh, 44 points in the paint there. Was Key a little bit of a surprise for you tonight in terms of what she did for Tennessee? Uh, no. <laughs> you know, we knew she was, uh, she's got a huge height advantage on us. And, um, you know, I know that's uh, above her average, but, um, you know, we watched quite a bit of film on her. And, and um, you know, she's got good hands, she finishes well. Um, and, and certainly has an advantage from a size standpoint against us. And so, um, in offensive rebounding, I mean, that's just, that's, that's a big body. And um, she moves really well for her size. So, um, yes, pro probably one of her better games that we've seen. Uh, but at the same time, not really surprised. We watched her play in high school. Uh, she's a special player. Coach, obviously, Tennessee wanted to move this game to 5 o'clock. And that can't be done unless the SEC says yes and, and Missouri said yes. Well, what did you say when Tennessee asked about moving this game to avoid the kickoff with Tennessee football? Oh, it's a no-brainer. I mean, that's what you do, right? I mean, this is all about, um, you know, trying to create an environment and an atmosphere for women's basketball. And, and it's, um, you know, we'd want the same thing done if our football team was in a bowl game. And, and uh, it, I mean, that's just, there's no second thought on that one. That's an easy one. It seems y'all played a pretty tough non-conference schedule, a lot of regular tournament teams in there. How do you think it prepares you for the SEC schedule, and how has it kind of impacted the team's confidence kind of taking some of these ones the first couple months in the season? Um, we played a really tough non-conference schedule. Uh, probably was a little bit too aggressive with that scheduling. I didn't think we'd have maybe the, the learning curve um, and the growing pains that we're, we're going through this year. I thought we'd be a little bit further ahead, but really when you take a step back and look at, uh, really uh, we've got everybody in a different role, a different position. Uh, we got some talented young kids that you know, are, are kind of learning the way a little bit. And so, um, you know, I, 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 we're not as bad as our record, I know that, uh, but it is, it, it can be pretty deflating. And, and that's where that, I think, locker room conversations really have to be at, on point. And, um, you know, it's hard, but uh, no one's going to write our story except us. And, and we've got to own it and we've got to embrace the, the grind and where we're at and uh, continue to work hard and, and be coachable and, and uh, get better every day. But, yeah, I, I, it's been a tough non-conference schedule, a little bit tougher than I think, I don't know. I think the last time I looked at it, it was like a 20, ranked 21st in the country for strength of schedule. So it's pretty high up there. But, um I definitely think playing a schedule like that certainly helps you prepare for SEC play. Front middle there. Coach, uh, the team only had seven points in the second quarter. 
What do you think the offense lacked to keep competing with Tennessee like you guys did in the first quarter? Yeah, we just didn't finish shots. I mean, we had some good looks, like I said. I think you know, I'll have to go back and look, but I'm pretty sure we left at least seven shots uh, that we got in the paint uh, and we didn't finish on them. And so, you know, those are the ones for sure you got to finish. We had some open looks and, and, and didn't, weren't able to knock them down. So uh, that hurts you against a great team like Tennessee. You've got to be able to match basket for basket and, uh, you know, when, when there's no time for deflation, they make a run, you got to come right back at it. So uh, those points I thought came back to, to hurt us a little bit. Amber, you guys got it down to four, at, I think late in the third quarter, or maybe early in the fourth. What did you see happening down the stretch that maybe didn't allow you to kind of finish that, that little run you were on, that rally that you were on? Um, I don't remember vividly, but um, I'm probably a couple second chance opportunities and pops and transition buckets by Tennessee, and then just uh, knowing what a great shot versus I mean, a great shot versus a great shot. So I mean, probably I'm not sure. I don't remember vividly what happened, but I I think we stayed true to what we were, but um, we just didn't capitalize on that one. Couple more. Amber, obviously you're a senior on a team that lost quite a few starters last year, and you know the SEC and what what it's like all season long. What? How does a game like you guys, I mean, this is honestly, you guys are the third best team Tennessee's played this season, just right behind Stanford and Texas. What, what do you walk out of here with going forward and, and tell some of your younger teammates? Um, that we can play with the best on any given night. Um, this is a road win, it was a road test, and I, I think we stayed true to who we were and we learned from this game, but I think we still have to push forward and we can match up with some of the best. So it's just how bad do we want it and how bad are we willing, how hard are we willing to work for it? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank Thanks you. Thank you. Happy New Year. Yeah.